<laughs> Greetings everyone and welcome to a special Halloween episode of And here we are <laughs> with a special Halloween episode. We got a special vehicle for you. We're going to show it to you when we get it on the slab. But first, here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like. Ah! Well, hello everyone, and here we are. The ambulance is on the slab. What we have here is the Johnny Lightning Meat Wagon. A 1959 ambulance that uh, Johnny Lightning put in its Johnny Frightening series. And uh, as you can see, it started out as the meat wagon, which was a, uh, a hot rod and a model kit from, uh, I believe, uh, AMT. But uh, it also uh, was the first uh, edition of this meat wagon put through through Johnny Lightning. It has called a meat wagon. It had stretchers on the roof. But uh, now uh, they did a re-release of it in homage to the... Uh, Hitchcock movies on the Johnny Frightening series, and uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's, uh, excuse me, Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo was the subject matter of this thing. What do you think, Leah? Well, I think the shape looks very nice, but I do think that it's looking quite a bit play-worn, but I believe that we can breathe new life into this frightening vehicle. <laughs> Absolutely. Good way to say it, and that's true. We uh, You'll note there's a hubcap missing, uh, because these tires are kind of cool, but you know, uh, sadly, we don't have hubcaps, so we'll have to swap those out. There's quite a bit of paint chipping on this, uh, quite a bit, actually. As you can sort of see, there's almost all the paint is gone from the roof and side doors. Uh, the rest of it's sort of chipped up, and the uh, metal is tarnished underneath. But I think that, uh, as Leah says, we're up to the challenge to make this thing look uh, cool and frightening again. What do you say, Leah? I think that sounds scary good. <laughs> Right on. Well, tell you what, I think it's a good idea that uh, we get to working on this right now. What do you say? I think that is good. <laughs> right on. Well, we'll do it. Uh, stay tuned and we'll start putting this into the Halloween look. <laughs> look out and here we are. The meat wagon from uh, Johnny Frightening or the Johnny Lightning Frightening series. Not too bad a vehicle. And uh, actually, uh, I guess this, I did a little more research on it and actually based on the 1937 Packard ambulance. I think I said 1959 earlier and that was just me uh, getting cross wires uh, doing research on it. But yeah, this is it. Now, uh, I've uh, taken the liberty of uh, drilling the posts on this uh, already out. So uh, I think I'm going to we'll take it apart and see what there is to offer on this thing to see what it looks like. But uh, yeah. Not too bad looking. Of course, this was a flea market find, hence why it's all wrecked up. But here we go. So, right, we pop it off, and there it is. We just have an interior. And a, there we are. Look at that. Not a bad interior. Steering wheel. A <laughs> unit like most. And there it is. Pretty plain. Pretty plain interior on the bottom with these wheels. And, oh, sadly, that one missing hubcap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's not too bad. And here we are. The top part. Inside, we have the uh, windshield. Oh, there it is. It falls out. Just a uh, single windshield piece here, as you can sort of see. And oddly enough, you know, even though it's a windshield piece, it's the, the back window is open. So I guess, uh, you know, when it was the original meat wagon, it was like a surfer thing. So uh, I'm sure it had a couple of surfboards sticking out of it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. I don't know if I can get surfboards or if that's where we're going with it. But yeah, we have an open back window. And here we are. So uh, we also uh, will notice here that inside the roof, I had a, it was kind of a, uh, a rivet here that was a little post in the roof that was uh, mushroomed out to keep the windshield in. So I had to use a Dremel to scrape that out to get the glass out because, uh, yeah, otherwise it would have been stuck there for good. The last little thing we have here are these little chrome pieces on the side. You can sort of see that. It's kind of like uh, exhaust pipes. And uh, they come out. I uh, sort of, let's see. Yeah, there we go. I uh, had to work the glue out, and that's it. That's one piece on one side here. You can sort of see that. Let's just get that in focus. There we are, yeah. Eh, not the most amazing, but yeah, it's kind of cool. And on the other side, same applies. We just used a bit of, uh, you got the, they sort of glued it. It fits with glue right here on the fender. 
And he goes, oh, there it is, it fell out. I took the glue off, but I was careful to not to break the posts too much. So yeah, that's it, post number two. So we'll make sure we don't lose that. <laughs> so here we go, folks. We have the body, right? We have the interior here. And uh, with the body comes these uh, cool little uh, <laughs> embellishments and pi side pipes. We have the windshield and we have the base. So there it is, folks. Here's what we're working with. So the first thing we have to do is get this slapped inside the stripper to get all the rest of that paint off. Then we'll give it a wire brush and we'll start the process of turning this into a Johnny Frightening Ambulance, another meat wagon. <laughs> All right, folks, as promised, here we are. We got the thing stripped down, and we're, we don't need to put too much steel wool on this because it's pretty much already stripped as it is, but just here on the, on the, on the hood and the fenders, just get rid of some of that shine on it there so that we can hopefully the uh, stripper will get to work and do what it's supposed to do. There it is. I've done this earlier, but just a bit of a thing there. Scrape it off, and here we are. We're going to get it inside the stripper, boom, and there it goes. And now we'll seal it up just because the uh, smell is a little heavy. <laughs> there we go. And we will let the stripper do its thing. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Our 1937 Packard Ambulance from Johnny Lightning or Johnny Frightening. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I just got to say it looks pretty cool this way. But, uh, yeah, we got her out of the stripper, giving it the old uh, wire wheel and uh, the steel wool. And it's got a lot of nice relief. This is a nice-looking casting, I got to say. Not too bad at all. So uh, I think all that's left to do at this point now is to uh, hose it down with a little bit of the old uh, gunk engine degreaser, which we got here. And we will uh, give it a bit of a spray. And uh, now she'll be uh, ready to take into the uh, paint shop for a good coat of primer. Well, all right, everyone. We've given our uh, ambulance here a white paint job. And now we are going to splash a little bit of paint on it to make the fenders red. I just want to have a little bit of contrast on this thing. So we've done this monstrous looking taping job, but it has to be done <laughs> because that's the toughest part of uh, the making two-tone colors. So we've taped it up here uh, and uh, now we're ready to go to paint and hopefully this will turn out okay. All right, everyone. Now we've been working on the chassis here. So what we've done is we've uh, drilled out some channels using a Dremel and we got our axle tubes in. So here we go, and we also give it a little bit of a shine. You can sort of see, nice and shiny with that uh, license plate there. And uh, same to the rear, just giving that a bit of a shine up. So uh, yeah, it looks a little more sharp. And even the bottom a little bit, right? And that sort of will work now. So we have our channels, we got our axle tubes put in, and I think we're good to go. And I believe now, I think I may want to paint this interior just so i uh, give it a bit of relief to see it because the windows are very small. We'll see. I'm still on the fence, but I think we're getting very close to putting this thing together. Inside here, I got some nice wheels. They're going to look something along the lines of this, which I think would be pretty cool. There you go. And a smaller one on the front. I think I have it inside here. Let's see if I can dig one out. Uh, ah, there it was. I believe that's it there. Look at that. And a small one on the front. Put that there. Ding. <laughs> there we go. So I think that should look half decent. Hopefully we're good to go to setting it up. Ooh, and here we are, folks. The Halloween journey is almost over for our old uh, ambulance from Johnny Lightning. The Johnny Frightening Johnny Lightning. And uh, we finally uh, finished it. But uh, for comparison purposes... This is what the ambulance used to look like before uh, we put the uh, Halloween Dad and Andrew's Garage spin on it. What do you think, son? I think it looks very thrashed. How are you supposed to chip the whole entire roof off? <laughs> yeah, geez, uh, they, really, uh, they really did a number on this one. Uh, I don't know, they probably didn't like the red, but uh, in any event, we worked pretty hard in uh, turning this back into its former glory and giving it a really spooky Halloween feel. What do you think? I totally agree with you there. All right, folks. Well, without further ado, let's get ready for the reveal. All 
right, folks, and here it is, our brand new and improved 1937 Johnny Lightning Packard Ambulance. Only now, it's a tribute as a Halloween ambulance. What do you think, son? I think it looks really cool. I love what you did with it. It looks really amazing. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, we pulled the stops out. I really love the way this thing turned out. I really like the uh, red fenders. The wheels work really nice. The decals are fun. I got my skull and crossbones red cross. Uh, we got the skull and crossbones on the door. A little bit of a homage to Monty Python with the bring out your dead. And, uh, of course, quiet dead zone on the top of the hood. Uh, anything you like about it there, son? I do like the red and white on the car. Sweet. Yeah, also the white interior, I think, adds a bit to it. Overall, I think it's a real improvement on what it started out as. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I sure agree with you there. The roof was, like, entirely chipped off. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, tell you what, folks. I want to thank you very much for uh, watching the show. Uh, we really uh, enjoyed doing the car. We're glad, hopefully, you enjoyed it, too. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, play out with a uh, few glamour shots of the car. And uh, once again, folks... Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see... Like and subscribe and share to your friends. Right on. And there's only one more thing to say. Happy Halloween!